Hello, today I'm going to be showing you how to make this skull bones thing. So if you want to learn how to make that, keep watching. The black marker that I just showed. You will also be needing some hand sanitizer and some baby wipes. So, first, you want to clean the part that you're going to do, I guess. First, you want to clean it. <laughs> and you want to add a little bit of hand sanitizer just to make sure it's extra clean. Okay. Now that's clean. You can take a paper towel or something and just dab it dry. Just so it doesn't ruin your markers. <laughs> We're going to start by making the thing I showed you at the first. So there is still an outline so I can make it um, like the last one. But I am going to move the bone side over a little bit so it doesn't go off to the outside. So, first you want to make a half circle. Kind of like this. Like that, right there. Then, when you're done with that, you want to make the under part. So it's kind of like a part of a rectangle. It should look like that. I'm just gonna kind of touch it up. Okay. After you've done that, you're gonna make the little round things. Are the ends of the bones. First you want to attach these two. Then you want to attach these two that go through and under that one. So then it should look like this. Then you start the B way over here. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about that. You're going to start the B over here. Just make it like a regular B. And color the little insides. So it looks like that. I'm just going to do all capitals. B O. N. I'm going to color in the N. It's a weird end. E. And then we're going to add the S. We're going to add a line under. Okay. We will color it. And so, next you're going to add the little eyes. Just kind of like a little round thing. Then the nose will just be two little lines. And the mouth will just be kind of a kind of smiley face mouth. Now we're going to color it in. So, what you want to color it is, of course, your colorful markers. So, I'll just show you my colorful markers here. Just a whole bunch of colorful markers. And so the first color you're gonna be needing is a dark blue. A dark blue like this dark blue. This is what it looks like on his skin. Okay. So what you're gonna use this blue for. And you're going to color in the bones. So, let's start coloring. And 
the bones will look nice and blue and pretty. And we're done coloring it. So. And yes. Just make sure it's colored in. Okay. The next color you're going to be wanting is. Let's look. Um, some light green. Just fill the whole screen with that. Okay, it doesn't show the color like that. Just put it on a white piece of paper over here. If you'll follow my finger, it's right here. Okay, it's color green. Oops. <laughs> and you're gonna color the bone crossy bone things. You're gonna color the one going under. And you're also gonna color the skull. Then the last color we're going to add for the very top is going to actually be the dark blue again because um, I already colored it golden and there's only two colors in there and I think I should just stick with those two colors. So, yeah. And I'm just going to add little things on the outside. So, what it looks like so far, let me just put this marker back in. Looks like that. Bones. It looks pretty cool. I'll knit that. So, now we are going. I know this sounds weird, but we're going to take a paint brush, just a paintbrush, and kind of just paint over it. Just to get the extra. And kind of blend it in. Make sure it's all dry. It won't damage your paintbrush. It will get it little colored and stuff. But it will get it colored. But it's not a problem. And you're going to just brush over everything you colored in or used marker on. So. Now just go individually. E and O and a little cross and the skull. So after you make sure it's all sealed in, you're gonna put your paintbrush away. And then after you make sure it's all sealed in, you're going to take a white oil pastel. Sounds weird, but it's good. You're just going to color over everything you drill with marker. I know it doesn't seem like it's going <coughs> off, but it will help protect it from water. So, I'm going to color over it with oil pastel. Great, so now I can't get it off? <laughs> no, you can. It'll just help. A little bit. <laughs> then you're gonna add it all over. It all everywhere. Okay. Okay. Now, the last step is to take your paper and napkin thing and hold it over and then you want to take the wipe you used at first and you want to put it over it and press down 
and flip it over. Now press down. We're going to take the paper napkin off. And then, we're going to take the, this off. And then you're going to just clean up around the edges. So I'm going to move the camera thing. I don't know. That's a good angle. You're going to take this and clean up. Clean up the edges. Just to make sure it's nice, clean thing. I don't know. Skull <coughs> thing. Clean all around it so it looks nice and pretty. Get all the little extra crayon marks. Clean up this. Now that you've cleaned it, you have your finished uh, tip two thing. I hope you guys enjoyed. I did. I will be doing more tattoo videos soon. So, 